Hello friends, in this video we are going to see the most important technique to solve a numerical and that is current divider rule. Which is having a short form CDR, a commonly known as CDR. I am considering a circuit having one current source and two resistances connected in parallel to that current source. Let us have the current source of value i and R1, R2 connected in parallel to this current source. Since R1 and R2 are connected in parallel, I can say voltage across R1 is same voltage across R2 which is same as the total voltage applied to the circuit. Now, I can say total voltage will be total current which is supplied by this current source multiplied by equivalent resistance given by parallel combination of R1 and R2. So, I can say multiplication of R1 and R2 divided by addition of R1 and R2. So, that I can say voltage across R1 is same as total voltage is same as total current supplied by the current source multiplied by total resistance or I can say equivalent resistance which is a resultant of R1 and R2 parallel combination. So, I can write here voltage across R1 is nothing but current through R1 multiplied by resistance value. So, I will write V1 as I1 into R1 equals I multiplied by R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. My job is to find out current I1 and this current I2 using R1 R2 and I. So, if I see this expression carefully, I will come to know this R1 and this R1 I can cancel out and then I can say current flowing through the R1 which is I1 equals R2 divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied by total current in the circuit. Same way I can calculate current flowing through the R2 is given by the resistance which is connected in parallel to R2. Here it is R1 divided by addition of two resistances connected in parallel multiplied by total current supplied by current source or battery. So, we can use these two formulae in order to get current flowing through individual resistors if I know both the values of resistors and total current supplied. Some important observations through this it is only applicable for parallel circuit. And one more important observation parallel combination of only two resistors should be there. So, 
it can be ap applied if we have a parallel combination of only two resistors. So, more often while solving a problem, we will come across a problem which is having one current source and two resistors connected in parallel. By using these two formulae, we can get a direct answer of a current flowing through individual resistors. Thank you.